Hi folks, welcome to Coffee with Job number 61. If you've got a Bible, go and get Job, look up Job chapter 20. We're going to look at Zophar the Nemethite, uh, some of his response to Job. We won't look at it all. I hope you've had a good weekend. Um, I very much enjoyed preaching God's Word in Cronulla Presbyterian and speaking to some of St. Thomas's young people in the evening. But I will say this, that I can identify with something of what Zophar says. And I wonder if you can. In chapter 20, he says this, My troubled thoughts prompt me to answer because I am greatly disturbed. Well, let, let's just talk about troubled thoughts. Because my understanding inspires me to reply. Surely you know it has been from of old, ever since mankind was placed on the earth, that the mirth of the wicked is brief, the joy of the godless lasts but some moment. Though the pride of the godless person reaches to the heavens and his head touches the clouds, he will perish forever like his own dung. Those who have seen him will say, where is he? Like a dream, he flies away, no more to be found. Banish like a vision of the night. The eye that saw him will not see him again. His place will look on him no more. His children must make amends to the poor and so on. Well, we'll come back to what he says in that. But, I mean, what harsh, hard words. You are going to disappear like you're done. You know, you've, you've been joyful. You've been blessed with children and wealth and it's all gone. And it's all gone because of you, because of what you have done. You talk about Satan being the accuser. Satan accused to God, but Satan, I think, is using Job's friends to accuse him. And sometimes it's like that, isn't it? Sometimes you get a, a great insight or understanding into the word of God, and it will brings you back down to earth with a bang. It's God's own people. Now, I think when you have troubled thoughts, Zophar's world, his, his is what I call a diehard world. In Die Hard, you always know whatever happens in the Die Hard movies that, you know, Bruce Willis is going to win. The good guys are going to win. The bad guys are going to die. Um, the good guys are going to win. It's like in a rom-com or whatever. You just know that Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy, well, that's not a rom-com. That's a great book, Pride and Prejudice. But you know that they're going to get together. But real life's not like that. And Zophar is troubled by the fact that Job is saying that real life is not like that. And so he, he expresses his troubles with this, with this attack. Now, I've been thinking about troubled thoughts. Um, and to be honest, I've been having a lot of them in different ways. And sometimes, you know, sometimes you shouldn't share these things. Sometimes it's like the psalmist in Psalm 73. You keep silent lest you betray, betray God's people. But sometimes you do need to speak out. Sometimes you need to be aware. You know, Elijah or Jeremiah or... Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, whose thoughts were so troubled that he he sweated, as it were, great drops of blood. And sometimes we wrestle and struggle with things. And, and I feel I'm doing that at the moment. And one of the things, let me just share this with you, is myself and Annabelle listened to the podcast about the rise and fall of Mars Hill and episode 11. Oh, oh that was just torture and you know what troubles me about it is that you can put the Driscoll story at one end of the spectrum if you like and then you can put your ideal church at the other end of the spectrum and I think that most of us will fall in between that somewhere but I do think sometimes in churches we are so unrealistic we are like Zophar in this we have this very simplistic formulaic view of the world and when the world doesn't fit our formula or the church doesn't fit our formula or the people don't fit our formula when two and two get added together and they make 50 not four we really really struggle i hope we're not like so far hitting out at people and you know sometimes i wonder about that as well because sometimes i see things and then i'm thinking am i seeing it or am i just being a grumpy old man or whatever but i think there, there's a lot for us to think about in terms of troubled thoughts and what do we do with those 
Well, sometimes we've just got nowhere else to go. So as long as we've got friends we can share with, but sometimes we've got nowhere else to go but the, the friend, Jesus Christ. So, you know, let's think about that. I hope you're never going to be like Zophar, but if you do have troubled thoughts, just go to the Lord with them and come to his word and do that again tomorrow. See you in coffee with Job tomorrow and hopefully I will be outside and I will remember to charge my microphone and everything. God bless you. Bye.